one day. <laughs> Almost take out the porch, backing it up. Because I haul topsoil, dirt, manure. Which, take my advice, don't ever buy organic manure. Because you can smell corn shit, basically. And it is awful. So... Yeah, I hold a lot of stuff in the truck, so... It was a good truck. I miss it. Old blue. Um, I remember one time I took... I don't know why I'm telling this story. I took... uh, One time I took Stitch for a ride in a truck, and he was just... He was in the passenger seat. The bad thing about about that truck, this is a true story, when I bought it, the radio got stolen out of it. (laughs) Someone took the radio out of my truck and they didn't steal it they just took a radio blue is beautiful thank you purple is (laughs) better they took their radio out of the truck and it wasn't even a good radio and it didn't even work like the knob on it was like broke (laughs) it's just it didn't work it was like a bad bad radio Anyway, um, the important, the Michigan couple, this important note of not having sex in a, sure, This important notice of not having sex in a parking lot of your local police station was ignored by a Michigan couple. What is it with people in Michigan, man? Uh, Is now facing court date next week after cited for disorderly conduct. According to the cops in Birmingham. Birmingham, sorry, Birmingham. I don't know why I'm thinking Birmingham. (laughs) Birmingham. In a Detroit suburb, the police... And the police, uh, the sorry, pulled up into the police in a parking lot of the police station headquarters around 12 a.m. and spotted an unknown vehicle running the, well, uh, sorry, running the plates. It became back to a multiple vehicles only spot, multiple vehicle spot. Upon approaching the automobile, the cops noticed the rear windows were fogged up. You know what that means? Mm-hmm. Fogged up windows. You know what that means. And the cops <laughs> noticed two ebri- in a sorry, two drunk people, a twenty five year old woman and a twenty four year old man, naked in the back seat of the car. <laughs> oh no. Short jail sentence. For Idaho man, Indiana, sorry, not Indiana, not Idaho, sorry, Idaho. Indiana man who accidentally shot himself, accidentally shot himself in the penis. What the fuck? Oh, damn. The dude shot his dick. That's fucked up. Oh my god. This one's back in July. I heard about this story. Ready for this one? Damn. I know, right? The dude just like... I just wanted to be like, how many guns do you have? Like... Police hunt for a woman who urinated on potatoes. Oh, it's update. She was caught. Here's the thing. 
I'm going to give this piece of note to people. When you do things like this, when you urinate on potatoes, you lick ice cream, you burp in cans, or you spit in tea, which actually the guy who started the whole thing was a wrestler who did this, which was stupid. Uh, I'm not making this up. So I saw someone burp on food. Burped on cans. And I did not... I, I said under my breath, walking away, I was like, fucking retard. Um... I sound like man. You are a fucking retard. <laughs> anyway, um, who decided to roll on food, half naked, and stuff? Piece of advice that causes a lot, a lot of harm on you, because you will get arrested for, you know vandalizing things, but also tainting food, which is a federal fucking crime. Federal crime, by the way. But not only that, that causes the store money. Because you're messing with money. You're messing with stuff that people are trying to sell to make money. And that affects me. It affects me. Okay? Okay? Don't ever urinate on food. Lick ice cream. Burp on things. Roll on vegetables. Don't touch it. Don't mess with it. If you don't want it, don't buy it. Don't mess with it. Or don't mess with it at all. Leave it alone. You damn retards. Leave everything alone. People are going to buy that. If someone sees you burp on cans or wipe your boogers on stuff, no one's going to fucking buy it or touch it, which causes the store to lose money. So, I'm sorry for venting. It just annoys me when I saw someone burp on food, which I was just like... I just wanted to slap the shit out of that person, but, you know. But, tell by the nose ring, you just have to pull the nose ring out, and just, they're fine. <laughs> anyway. Ah, boy. I know, I just had to, like, vent, because it was just, like, the stupidest thing I've ever, ever Uh. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see. Legal tender. Woman had six thousand two hundred. Thirty-three dollars, thirty-three dollars stolen cash hidden in her, hidden in a body cavity. The fuck? In the United States, the United States record of currencies hidden inside the body cavity of a woman who had six thousand two hundred and thirty-three dollars st- stolen cash hidden inside her vagina. When, when arrested by. Louisiana cops. Holy shit. This woman just hid. Let me repeat this. $6,233 stolen cash and her JJ. <laughs> I don't know why I said it, but it's just... I, I couldn't... I just... I couldn't believe when I read that. Ashley Beth Rowland, which I'm sure she's every guy's dream who steals money... <laughs> was the subject yesterday of a story reporting following her July 31st bust, allegedly stealing cash from her boyfriend and denied ownership of something, which was lodged inside her body. The problem caused effective note when the plastic baggie 
Oh, methamphetamine. Oh, shit. She had... Oh, damn. She had a plastic baggie with meth inside her vagina. The cash, which was located... Wait, time out. Why would you... This is the pro- <laughs> I She had... Shit, I know. I... I am just so... I am so lost on this story. She had... The guy... The boyfriend called her. Called the cops. And... And... Knowing that she had... Methamphetamine. Which will come back on him. And... I, did he learn anything from Al Sharpton? Snitches get stitches, don't snitch. Which Al Sharpton snitched on a lot of people. Anyway, uh, the cash was a affirmative report and located consensual search of Roland's person conducted a fema- by a female cop, which I'm sure, you know, <clears throat> you know, you don't want, no male cop wants to do that because they would be accused of sexual assaults or harassment or whatever. It turns out the cash and the meth were both inside Roland. Photo of her seen above. It's kind of hard to believe she does meth. She doesn't look it. She looks... She... She looks like Olivia Wilde. You know you know the actress Olivia Wilde? She looks like Olivia Wilde. According to Westmore Police Department officials, Roland had a large roll of cash, which was secured by a rubber band, hopefully in a baggie, um, <laughs> um, concealed inside her... V- okay, she had a... <laughs> sorry, I'm just like... I'm, I'm just so dumbfounded <laughs> by this story. Um, <laughs> it's just... I I just need to scroll down and not look at the photo while reading this. Um, <laughs> just, she looks like Olivia Wilde busted for having $6,000 in her vagina. I just... I cannot believe the story. Okay. According to Westmore Police Department, Roland had a large roll of cash secured by a rubber band concealed inside her vagina. At the center of the wad of baggy, and considered inside the center of the wad of bills was a baggie of meth. Arrested, after, arrested officer told the report that she had sixty-two $100 bills and the remaining $33 made up to fi- uh, tens and fives and singles. <laughs> it's just, I can't help it. I'm just like so dumbfounded by the story and the clouds are getting dark looks like it's gonna rain awesome um okay the female officer located a six thousand two hundred and thirty three dollars okay the money was recovered inside Roland in the same condition it was rolled up fastened with a rubber band she allegedly took it off the victim's dresser when he was showering, which could explain why Roland disavowed the ownership of the meth that the cash the meth that the cops found core in the cash roll. Um, <laughs> sorry. The picture above shows Roland remained looked up at the police station jail on a $8,000 bond. Too bad she can't use the $6,233 of that money on her bond. She is charged for theft, narcotics possession, both felonies. Time out. If, if she took the money off the, the guy's dresser, wouldn't he be responsible for the methamphetamine? 